This hydrogen-powered supercar is probably the most advanced sports car in the world. Join me till the end of this video to see why. As countries are currently big on lowering emissions, electric cars are trending. But not every car manufacturer is a fan of electric power. Some car makers decided to go with the electricity rival hydrogen. The Hyperion XP1 is a hydrogen-powered sports car manufactured by California-based automaker Hyperion Motors. This supercar was unveiled on August 12, 2020, and it's the first of its kind by the brand. It took them nearly a decade to make this car, and you'll understand why later in this video. Ever since the release of electric vehicles in the market, automakers like Tesla, Lucid, Rivian, Neo, and many others have made great strides with this technology. Many new and improved electric cars have been released since then, and the technology keeps getting better and better as we speak. But people are still trying to find an even better solution, and newer and more improved power sources are being looked into. While hydrogen fuel cell cars sound like something that came out of a science fiction movie, these vehicles have been around for longer than you might think. Hydrogen vehicles are a category of electric cars that use fuel cells to power the motor instead of burning fuel like gasoline cars, compared to other electric vehicles which rely primarily on lithium-ion battery pack. As with every electric car, hydrogen cars don't generate harmful carbon emissions like gasoline cars. And the only byproduct of these vehicles is water vapor. Hydrogen cars are driven by an electric motor and are thus classified as e-cars. These cars have been described by the common abbreviation FCEV, which is the acronym for fuel cell electric vehicle, compared to BEV or battery electric vehicle, which describes other electric vehicles. Basically, hydrogen cars can generate their own power with an efficient power plant located on board the fuel cell, compared to other battery-powered electric cars. The hydrogen fuel cells are quite similar to the lithium-ion cells in an EV battery because hydrogen cars also have multiple fuel cells working simultaneously to generate electricity. This collection of fuel cells is called the hydrogen fuel cell stack. Hydrogen from these cars' onboard fuel tanks mixes with oxygen inside the fuel cell stack to produce electricity through a chemical process known as reverse electrolysis. The electrons are taken from the hydrogen gas sent through the circuit to power the motor and mix with oxygen on the other side of the circuit to form water vapor released through the car's exhaust pipe. The electricity produced from these car's hydrogen fuel cells can take two routes, depending on the situation. The energy generated either operates the electric motor directly or charges a lithium-ion battery that helps keep the electric motor running and can store the electricity for later use. This battery also takes power from the vehicle's regenerative braking system for later use by converting the car's kinetic energy into electrical energy and feeding it into the backup battery and stores extra power from the hydrogen fuel cell stack during low energy driving. If more energy is demanded from the engine, the lithium ion battery kicks in to help. With all that has been said about hydrogen fuel cells, you might wonder what makes these hydrogen cars considered an improvement from the regular battery-powered electric vehicles like Tesla and the likes. So, let's discover what makes this Hyperion hydrogen supercar different from other electric vehicles. One factor that differentiates this hydrogen supercar from other electric vehicles is the refueling time. Refueling a fuel cell electric vehicle hydrogen tank, like those in the Hyperion supercar, is about as fast as filling up a gasoline car. Regular electric vehicles currently require between 30 minutes and a few hours for a full charge. However, the hydrogen tanks of fuel cell cars, like the Hyperion supercar, are charged and ready to go in about 5 minutes. For users like you, this brings the vehicle's flexibility and availability in line with a conventional gasoline car. The propulsion in hydrogen fuel cell cars, like the Hyperion supercar, is purely electrical, which is quite exceptional for various reasons. When you drive one, it feels pretty similar to driving a regular electric car. This means that there is practically no engine noise, usually heard with gasoline cars, in a lively startup, because electric cars deliver full torque even at low speeds. And you can be sure that the Hyperion XP1 isn't synonymous with low speeds at all. When you look at the refueling time, amazing power, and environmental friendliness of the Hyperion fuel cell cars, they sound like the perfect green vehicles. However, cars like the Hyperion XP1 supercar have another factor that differentiates them from others. They are more expensive to refuel than other electric vehicles. This is partly because hydrogen, the major component of these cars, is so expensive to produce. While hydrogen may be the most abundant element on the planet, refining it into a form that can power a vehicle takes effort and that effort is evident in the cost per tank. 
There is also a lack of FCEV refueling infrastructure, with less than 400 fueling stations available worldwide. However, there are ongoing efforts to build more hydrogen fueling stations, with the U.S. aiming to build 1,000 more stations by 2030. So, what can we expect from the infamous Hyperion XP1? Hyperion is a California-based company that unveiled its hydrogen-powered supercar, which the company hopes will change how people view hydrogen fuel cell technology. With a name that sounds like a spaceship that originated from a sci-fi movie, the Hyperion XP-1 supercar comes with a titanium-reinforced composite bodywork, active aerodynamic side blades, a Kevlar diffuser, and V-wing doors. A company spokesman stated that the actual production car would look exactly like the debut car, so you can be sure to expect pure perfection when you buy this supercar. The Hyperion supercar's body has smooth styling with flying buttresses that run behind the doors. These pieces serve two functions, active aerodynamic elements that significantly improve high-speed cornering, and they serve as solar panels capable of altering their positions to follow the sun's trajectory. The interior of the Hyperion XP-1 supercar is a high-tech place filled with sophistication worthy of a luxury supercar. The interior features a 90-inch curved display screen with touch-free gesture control technology for the setup on the center console. The seats are made of carbon fiber with leather upholstery, and occupants have a full view of the outside world through a wraparound glass canopy. The vehicle stores its hydrogen in carbon fiber tanks, and the hydrogen fuel cell module produces electric power that powers all four wheels and comes with a three-speed transmission. The supercar's layout lets it hit 60 miles per hour in under 2.2 seconds, with an estimated top speed of over 221 miles per hour. The Hyperion XP-1 will be able to drive for up to 1,000 miles on one tank of compressed hydrogen gas, and its electric motors will produce more than 1,000 horsepower, according to the company. Hyperion CEO Angelo Capantares explained that the Hyperion supercar has a much longer range than a battery-powered electric vehicle because compressed hydrogen has much more power per liter than a battery. One cool feature that is quite shocking about this car is how light it is. The Hyperion XP-1 uses the latest titanium-reinforced carbon fiber bodywork construction, granting in an ultralight chassis with a curb weight of 2,750 pounds. When it is compared with some of the best-known modern fast cars, which are equipped with more common power strains and energy storage systems, the Hyperion supercar has an advantage, beating some of the state-of-the-art performance cars of this age like the McLaren 720S and the Ferrari SF90 Stradale weight-wise. Also, since hydrogen gas is very light, the overall supercar weighs much less than an electric vehicle packed with heavy batteries. That in turn makes the supercar more energy efficient so that it can go farther and faster. Apart from accelerating faster, being ultralight comes with many benefits. Adding weight to a model reduces the amount of available traction compared with the vehicle's total weight. Traction increases as the vertical load on the tires increase. This means that the Hyperion supercar has much faster cornering speeds. With the proper suspension setup, this supercar can beat practically any electric vehicle produced up to date on a tight track. Other benefits include reduced thermal braking stress and thus endurance and enhanced braking performance with overall reduction of wear and tear of tires, suspension, and even the powertrain. The Hyperion XP-1 supercar is set to be built in America and is scheduled to be produced starting in 2022. Hyperion CEO did not detail pricing for the supercar, but stated that prices would vary depending on the level of performance. The highest performing version could cost millions, and only 300 will be produced with extensive customization options for the customers.